Okay, um, we're mulliganing the entire hand. We want a our weapon. We want seamstress. We want mining casualties. Okay, there's the there's the weapon. Our best card against Demon Hunter. We do really want other early plays so that you know we're not just like swinging up in their face and doing nothing else while they hit us with these guys, though. Yeah. All right, I'm just casting Blood Tap. These are all really, really good guys to buff. This allows me to coin the weapon and then have a powerful four. -er. Yep. Raise your face. But like. Casting the blood tap on two is really important to making this relevant, making these better. Like, this is so good with single buff. to do this to make this hit those yeah i'm playing casualties hitting your face maybe i should have actually eh, maybe i should have done that like this and yeah i'm actually not thrilled about this this is mm, i'm not sure about that turn Probably should have just hit these. If they make that Mc make third in me, it's very sad. Yep. I've frozen them and they still got a one cost mag third in a turn six. Everything about that sucked. Look at all the stats I can get here. Okay, well we did freeze them long enough that they're not getting a weapon, but this can get like a second mag third in from the one or something insane. I'm the perfect toy for you. We could always drop draw Grimewalker and have Grimewalker quilter and blow up their entire board. Although my quilters are also just going to be huge, so... <laughs> okay, double Meg Theridan ones off of those, sure. I am just playing this. Okay. Triple bag ferreted. <laughs> well, two of them flip. Or one of them flips next turn. I have to play this guy. This is going to trigger first. I think what I do is hit... I have eight damage. Yeah, I think I hit I hit this. This goes face. There is the possibility this clears all of them. It's really unlikely. You didn't hit the. It didn't even hit the one. Okay, it actually might be better this way. Weirdly, because like they have to attack into this for the McDermott to kill it. They could have, like, uh, going down swinging or something. Yeah. 
Although, this doesn't die. Yeah, they just they just don't attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. If they didn't have going on swinging there, we actually might have been okay. Hilariously. Okay. Poisonous guy? No. I can't believe we didn't hit the one and then th this guy was left up and we didn't get to get life off of it. It's actually wild how, how like, this game is, like, given that they played effectively four Mag Theridans, three Mag Theridans plus a red card, like, it's not just like, oh, everything's doomed. Like, I'm almost certainly dead, but I'm not dead yet. Both these flip up. Okay. Yeah, we died. But yeah, the four mag theridans is a little bit too much, and but we like still almost got there. If we just killed that that window shopper, and again, like I could have just like you know hit the guy with my uh, with the uh, the one one to get rid of that, but. Like, the random damage chooses between targets in play each time, so I wanted to distribute and kill two of the, you know, the one the one health guy who's very likely to get hit by one of the eight shots. You know, we had we had four, or rather eight one and fours that we missed on that guy, right? In order for him not to die, and we wanted to make sure we killed another one with uh, the other shots, which is why I went for the highest chance to actually potentially effectively kill everything, and we just missed the most likely thing dying, unfortunately. I'm going to keep casualties. We are looking for the weapon. All right. I don't have weapons, so I think I'm going to coin mining casualties. If I had weapon, I would I would save the coin to be able to wep to be able to coin the weapon to stop them um, with the freeze effect. But given that I don't, I think it's important that I address their early plays, and I can't answer weapon before they could use it anyway without having, you know, without having it there. Obviously, I could draw weapon like there's weapon, but I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have drawn it necessarily in time if it weren't for the opportunity to play the, the panner here. They didn't have weapon. Okay. They had to draw weapon. Great. Now weapon is in time. So we get to clear this guy. It's weird that they're choosing not to attack my recruits, by the way. So they have weapon, but I have crusher. Spellstone, we might just spellstone. Eh, no, we have we have this and the yeah. Yep. Oh, are you okay? Alright, it is time to freeze you. Rude. Okay. It's funny seeing people with Rust Drop Viper to beat the freeze weapon in there. It's also for the mirror, obviously, but... Um... Alright. We have lots of buffs. And lots of good things to buff in our hand, frankly. If they red card our guy, I'll be upset. Tough. Oh, it does kill it! My hand is full! That kills it! The death rattle triggers! Oh, the, the 
like in the mirror, the Viper triggers the death rattle of, of the opponent's weapon, so it's actually not even necessarily good. Oh, don't you dare have going down swing in here. No! Uh, well, that sucked. Okay. Well... Oh boy. That one? You just have double red card? Oh, okay. Jeez. Yep. So my best way to stay alive here is just Headless Horseman Hero Power, right? Yeah. Kill this, kill this. So we really hope they don't have, like, Illidari Inquisitor off the Window Shopper for five. Like, this comes up in my turn, and suddenly... You know, it's a lot safer. <sighs> oh, man. We might not be dead. Like, this is 9, 10. They need more damage. They need three more damage. That's 11. <clears throat> the one health stealth poisonous guy... I'm at one. Okay. So. Hold up. Hold up. That was the best possible draw in my deck. Slurp! <laughs> oh boy. God, this is through the going down swing and into the Inquisitor. Uh huh. Doubters in shambles. Okay. So, I guess I'm just playing Never Forget. Go. Uh huh. No poisonous wind fury to clear those. Ooh, that game was a nail-biter. Holy cow. Woo! Final boss time.